Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Sunday, March 29th, and today I am going to be filming a vlog. So, as you may or may not know, we have just moved into a new rental house here in Baytown, Texas, and we are working on making it livable, getting all of our stuff moved in. So, I thought for today's vlog, I would bring y'all along with us as we make this house our home. We moved all of our stuff in on Friday. Yesterday, we started unpacking, and today, we're going to try and get a majority of it done. So I'm about to head inside, make myself some coffee, probably some breakfast, and then we're gonna head on over to the house and start working. Let's go. Today is just one of those mornings that I really need a big old strong cup of coffee. My body is exhausted after like five days in a row of moving and traveling. So I just got some black coffee, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, as always and just a little bit of liquid stevia. Now just going to stir this up. And we got us a cup of coffee. Cheers. All right, so for my first meal of the day today, I'm just gonna make a really simple omelet because I can throw that together real quick before we head out the door. So I'm just gonna melt about a tablespoon of butter into my skillet. Now that my butter's melted, I have two eggs that I scrambled up and I'm just gonna pour that into the bottom of the pan. Now that my egg is mostly cooked, I am going to attempt to flip this. It might work. Oh, that worked like a charm, heck yes. So now I am going to put a couple slices of ham. Actually, I guess just two slices because that's all the ham we have left. Now I'm gonna throw a slice of cheese on top of that and fold this bad boy in half. Now I'm just gonna let it cook for another minute or two and my omelet will be done. Simple as that. This is like the prettiest omelet I think I've ever made, so look at it, isn't it beautiful? All right, y'all, omelet is done and it looks incredible. I've got my coffee to go with it and it is time to dig on into breakfast. This is gonna give me some fuel to go and unload the millions of boxes at our house. Well, we are loaded up. We got Cody right here. Hey, y'all. And we got the pups in the back laying down, I guess. There's Cooper, hard to see Bo. But we are headed over to the house, going to keep on unpacking today and get it ready so that we can start staying there after today. So let's go work on the house. Can't wait. It's so much work. My arms are tired. <laughs> the dogs are seeing cows for the first time. What is that, guys? Look at all, look at all the little babies. Y'all, I have little baby Moo Moo's in my backyard. Is this not the greatest thing in the world? I am so happy right now. Look at those three little baby booties right there. Oh my golly. Ah! Hey, are you enjoying the new house, Cooper? Are you enjoying, Bo, why is your head in my purse, honey? Anyways, okay, get out of my, get out of there. Before we start the day, I thought I would do a little update of where we're at in the house right now. So I know the kitchen looks kind of crazy, but we have gotten a majority of the kitchen things unloaded and put away, which was a big task. It took us hours yesterday, but a majority of it's done. Over here, this is kind of the catch-all room because we really don't have any furniture to go in here as of right now. We need to get a dining room table. So this is just kind of the random stuff we don't really have a home for yet. We need to lay a rug in here. Let's see, what else? Over here, I have not even begun to touch my office yet. This is going to be a fun one. <laughs> it is a mess in here. But I figure this is probably going to be the last thing because we won't have internet in here till Wednesday. So I can't even work in here. So I wanted to get our living spaces done before this. Look, hey y'all. I got some of my clothes hung up in here. Let's see, where is the cl There's that. And then let's walk into the master bedroom real quick. 
I think I've got to pull this thing so we can see. Oh, there we go. And it's a hot mess in here, but we have gotten rid of a ton of boxes. Have a bunch of clothes we need to hang up today. We just kind of got tired yesterday. So, progress. Progress, progress, progress. This closet is full of my clothes. This is Cody's closet. And then over here, um, more of my stuff. Because apparently I'm a hoarder and I'm about to do a big sell of a lot of my clothes. Yeah, it's going well guys, it's going well. It has been a couple of hours since I checked in. It is currently 11.51 a.m. And we have been working our little booties off and have actually gotten quite a bit done. But we have two living rooms technically. We have like this room, which is the living room. And then I have what we're calling the den, which is more sunken. And we have like our couch and TV in there. But this is what I need your help with. So this is our living room area and we've got it mostly set up, but we just don't really have furniture to fill this room yet. But this is what I need your input on. So we have this, which is the top to our entertainment center. And since these ceilings are so low, we can't stack it on the base. So do you have any ideas of how to make this like fit into this space and make it look like it's not supposed to be the top of an entertainment center? Like should we get like something to put inside like a little table? What could I do? Someone give me some suggestions because I think we could make it work but I just don't know how to do so. We got our rug put down. This is the couch out of my office. And I mean, we still have some stuff to do over here. We moved some boxes so we could go ahead and get this done. But the dogs are pooped from barking at cows. It's coming along, y'all. It is coming along. Hey guys, checking in. It is now about 3.30 in the afternoon. We just left Lowe's. We really needed to go and check out a washer and a dryer that we were interested in purchasing. So went and checked that out. But we also saw that there is this really nice grill. So we checked it out and it was missing a handle. And we were like, hey, can you cut us a deal on that one since it's missing a handle? And they gave us $50 off. So score, we just got a brand new grill for our new house. And I grabbed a couple of plants that I'm going to plant in the front yard and trying to avoid going out, but this was a necessity and grabbed a couple of things while we were there. But now it's time to go back to my parents' house, pick up the pups, and we're gonna go drop all this off at the new house. Here we have Cody working on building a ramp for the little pepperonis because we have a doggy door back here, but the ledge to get up is like almost seven inches. So my shorter dogs have a really hard time getting through the door. So we were using my stairs that we have to get the dogs up into the bed, but we're trying to make something a little bit better and just going to make this little thing into a step so that they can hop up and go through. Make it a little bit easier for the pepperonis. That's right. Look at Cody building that step. Do, do, oh do yeah. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. We got ourselves a grill. We have been waiting for this moment for like two years now, and we finally got us our own grill to have at home. I still want a smoker, but this was a really good deal. It was originally $400, and we were like, oh, hey, this metal bar is missing, and they gave us 50 bucks off. I reached out to the company, and they're gonna send me one for free. So you can't beat that. But check it out, we got ourselves a grill. Oh, I'm so excited. While we were at Lowe's, I ended up grabbing a couple of plants too, and I'm gonna throw them in our flower bed and just kind of see what happens. So I got two watermelons, this Charleston gray watermelons, because I've always wanted to grow watermelons. I got two things of okra, because I love crispy fried okra where you do it in the oven. So we're gonna attempt to grow some okra. And then I also grabbed a zucchini and a yellow squash. I didn't really think much about doing these. I just bought them. So I guess tomorrow I've got to figure out where the heck I'm going to plant them and how to do so. But yeah, I got me some new little plant babies and I'm so excited because I'm going to grow my own veggies. On another note, our front flower bed is absolutely 
covered with mint. I mean, it is everywhere. We have so much mint. What do you do with mint? How can I use this? Because I wanna use it if it's all over our front flower bed. I guess I can make some tea with it. I don't know. I've gotta figure out a use because this is everywhere but it smells so good well i was walking through the flower beds and i think this is also oregano so what do i do with oregano make spaghetti i don't know but awesome i have all of these herbs growing in the front yard and i hope my veggies take off too she left us her riding lawnmower to use because this is a really really big yard but it does have some issues so Cody is changing out the solenoid. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And we're going to replace one of these wheels that's a little bit wonky. And we're going to see if we can get her started up. Because that will make mowing the lawn a lot easier. We've got my mom in here. Hey everybody. <laughs> She's cooking us up some quesadillas for dinner. She even has some low carb tortillas she got just for me. Absolutely. Thank so you, mom. Leftover steak with some onions and jalapenos and the cheese, of course. And we're making some homemade salsa to go with it. And I went and got cilantro off of my plant that I'm growing, so I get to use my plants in tonight's dinner. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited. So we're gonna add that into there, just give it a little bit more flavor. And we're gonna find the lid and blend it up if we can. <laughs> Look at this cool tool. These are Michael's pizza scissors. But I'm gonna use them to cut the quesadillas up in, in edible pieces here. And we're getting ready to eat. Excuse all the mess all around us. It's been a crazy few days. Mom made the quesadillas that look absolutely scrumptious. Some homemade salsa we just made in the blender with my freshly picked cilantro. Some cheese dip to dip the quesadillas in. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. It is the end of the day now, and I just had to give y'all an update. The bedroom that was filled with boxes this morning is pretty much totally empty besides just a couple of things, like that's a box of hangers, this is a box of bathroom supplies, but we don't have any bathroom storage, so we've gotta buy something, which is why that is still packed away. But I have to say, we are getting stuff done. Yeehaw. Hey guys, it is the next morning now. So last night after we ate those delicious quesadillas that my mom made, I took a shower and we came back to the house to stay the night for the first time. I'm joined with little Cooper Pooper. Say hello, little Cooper. All right, hello there. Hello there. Anyways, we came home and we both just passed out. We are pooped from days upon days of moving, traveling, so we just crashed. However, today is Monday, March 30th, and today is actually the day Perfect Keto is releasing their new keto cookies. So before I close out this video, I thought we'd do a little review slash taste test and see how these bad boys are. I have an audience now, but <laughs> there is two different flavors of keto cookies. There is chocolate chip and double chocolate. I just opened up the package and I was immediately hit with like a chocolate chip cookie smell. It smells like a cookie. Do not try and eat my cookie bow. But this is what it looks like. Just a little chocolate chip cookie. Hey, cheers. First off, I have to say the texture is really, really good. There's some keto cookies out there, aka <coughs> Quest, um, that tastes like you're chewing on like a Laffy Taffy. Terrible. Cannot even stand to bite of those cookies. These have that like soft and chewy texture that a cookie should have. So right off the bat, like two thumbs up for that. I literally have an audience while I'm tasting these. <laughs> they are right here at my side, making sure I don't drop a morsel. This one is definitely a lot more chocolatey. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I have to say these cookies are great. They don't have that cooling after effect that some keto cookies have. They aren't that gross, chewy texture. They taste like cookies. Great, love it. 
In case you're interested, the pricing for this box of keto cookies, it is $34.99 per cookie box. You get 12 packets of cookies, each with two cookies in them. And they actually have a special launch offer right now. If you get one box, it's 15% off, two box, 20% off, 30% off, three or more boxes. So I will leave a link down below in the description. Click it, check it out if you're interested. But I think on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again very soon with more moving vlogs. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.